हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 978 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ रबर तो रबर व्हेन वी आर सेइंग मींस इट इज नेचुरली एक्सट्रैक्टेड लेटेक्स एंड दैट लेटेक्स इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल रबर एंड दैट नेचुरल रबर is converted with the help of lot of chemical reactions into different uh, type of semi synthetic and synthetic rubbers and also nowadays there is new technology that is called plastic technology and with the help of plastic technology a rubber is converted into different very very important derivatives and which are widely used in our houses for our personal use and not only that in automobile industries in packaging industries in pharmaceutical industry, they have lot of uh, uses and as you know that uh, rubber is uh, very important because of its uh, properties and these special properties are for example uh, it's a very good uh, elastic uh, property it is very much flexible uh, it is resistant to abrasion and to resilience and also it is impermeable to oil and uh, water also it can resist the atmospheric or weather conditions like oxidation by oxygen or oxidation by ozone and also it can resist uh, different type of chemicals also and it can show the uh, inertness to different chemicals and that's why nowadays this rubber is mixed with uh, that uh, plastic technology to produce lot of pipes water pipes and even a uh, lot of uh, pipes to use in some chemical industries where corrosive gases are uh, used to manufacture different type of explosives or uh, pharmaceuticals and nowadays pvc that is polyvinyl chloride and this polyvinyl chloride is the derivative of a uh, rubber where we know that in rubber there are two double bonds because it is all made up of isoprene unit that is c5h8 and where two double bonds are there and these double bonds are uh, converted into uh, chloride derivative because these double bonds will consume uh, one molecule or two molecule of uh, halogen or chlorine and there will be Uh, chloride derivative and that is called pvc polyvinyl chloride and with the help of polyvinyl chloride we are uh, manufacturing different type of uh, colorless or we can say transparent translucent uh, rubber and that can be used in uh, packaging and as an insulator and as a some Uh, hospital uh, protecting agents to protect the uh, costly instruments so that they are not subjected to uh, corrosion or some other type of damage so all these derivatives they are really so important that they have changed drastically the quality of life of every human being on this planet so i'm going to give this example one by one so application of derivatives of rubber is a very interesting area and where natural as well as synthetic rubbers they are uh, converted into different derivatives and they are widely used for different purposes and one by one i am giving here number 1 natural rubber has widely been used as a raw material first basic is that that natural rubber means that latex a milky uh, material which is uh, extracted from rubber plant is the basic raw material for all the type of derivatives material for chemical reactions to produce various derivatives of varying nature number 2 natural as well as synthetic varieties of rubber have extensively uh, been used at home as well as in industry and they contribute to man's comfort is lot of comfort lot of uh, easiness 
a happiness uh, it provides to mankind and also pleasure because of following very very important properties of natural lover and they are given as follows here a it is good it has good tensile strength b high flexibility c good electrical uh, resistance d uh, good chemical resistance uh, c good electrical resistance uh, d good chemical resistance e good abrasion uh, resistance f good uh, resilience g high elasticity h low conductivity i low uh, permeability to air gases and liquids number 3 rubber is however an expensive raw material and so uh, the rubber based chemicals are now replaced by new technology that is called plastic technology uh, here the halides react with rubber adding at the double bonds to form chlorinated rubber actually this i have already mentioned in the introduction that since uh, rubber contains unsaturation double bond so it is uh, treated with halides and it is chlorinated so the chlorine is added to double bond and we get very important derivative that is known as pvc polyvinyl chloride and some other chlorinated derivatives also and they play very important role uh, to manufacture different type of uh, plastic material out of rubber uh, that is a uh, plastic technology halides react with rubber i think at the double bonds to form chlorinated rubber uh, which are used as painting in painting uh, that is uh, uh, do uh, red radiance and double bonds to form chloride chlorinated rubber which are used uh, as paint ingredients are uh, resistant to chemical attack a uh, rubber hydrochloride is obtained when benzene solution of rubber is treated with hydrogen chloride that is hcl so that is i mean how we are obtaining or manufacturing the uh, pvc polyvinyl chloride where the rubber solution in benzene that is treated with hydrochloric acid and we will get chloro derivative uh, it is a very tough transparent plastic that is used for packing in the form of films uh, rubber hydrochloride is resistant to chemical attack forms excellent film uh, and is colorless odorless and tasteless polyvinyl chloride that is pvc uh, also polyethylene poly polypropylene and large number of other plastics are limiting the use of expensive rubber so out of this rubber natural rubber uh, with the help of chlorination we have uh, manufactured lot of different type of derivatives and that is limiting the use of uh, very very expensive uh, rubber in place of that these derivatives they are have very good quality they are like Uh, PVC polyvinyl chloride is transparent, is very tough, very strong, and it can replace the uh, uh, rubber uh, used for expensive rubber hydrochloride. Uh, rubber and resin blends have also been used extensively to impart impact uh, resistance. So rubber and resin they are also combined nowadays, and that is also showing very good uh, resistance.
So number four here, I am giving the applications of rubber derivatives and rubber. Uh, variety of uh, uses are given here. Number four, the rubber has been used to manufacture a large number of products in the form of natural uh, rubber derivatives. Uh, and these products are tires, V-tubes, V-belts, gaskets, horses, sponge rubber, and uh, rubber threads, mattresses, that is uh, out of foam uh, rubber. Uh, rubber derivatives have widely been used as insulating coating on wires and cables and also for electrical power transmission. This is very important use. High tension uh, wire uh, where we are conducting high power electricity. It is only possible to uh, do the coating of this uh, rubber derivative insulation uh, transmission because it's uh, 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 that is uh, remar remarkable resistance to electricity. So it has remarkable resistance to electricity uh, due to its uh, chemical resistance. Uh, it is used for making rubber line metal tanks and vessels used in uh, chemical industries. And number five, sponge rubber. Uh, it's used for shock absorption, uh, water or sound absorption, uh, thermal insulation, and also for sealing uh, leakage. Number six, because of rubber's high elasticity, uh, rubber threads are made by cutting sheets, have widely been used in uh, shock absorption, uh, rubber bands, helmets, uh, rubber goods, guard ball, printing rollers, tubes for automobiles, aeroplanes, and bicycles. Number seven, rubber derivatives due to its chemical resistance to mineral acids, oils, uh, petrol, and some solvents, and high absorption resistance, and good insulation properties, like uh, ebonite, that is, if I say ebonite means it is hard rubber. Uh, is used in making a strong battery uh, cases. Uh, rubber gaskets. Uh, rubber gaskets are used for uh, sealing many types of equipment such as gas cookers, extruders, hollow uh, shapes of refrigerators, uh, cabinet doors, oven doors, and autoclave. Then foam rubber. Foam rubber has widely been used in making mattresses and bed pillows. So the rubber industry, I started with 945 uh, lecture number and now today is 978. So it is almost 36 to 37 lectures on rubber industry. A uh, lot of coverage is there and it is my humble request to all the uh, students who are offering industrial chemistry as undergraduate or postgraduate courses. They should copy down these notes, that's why I'm writing. And they can get a lot of basic concept about the raw material, different type of derivatives, different type of uses, and how it is going to impact our daily life, quality of life, how it brings pleasure. And it is in all walk of life, indoor, outdoor. We cannot survive without rubber without plastic rubber, without foam, without spongy rubber, without gasket, rubber pipe. I mean, we cannot count our finger. There are hundreds and hundreds of products only out of uh, rubber industry. So 
with this i will stop thank you very much for watching the lecture